What's going on everyone, Darkwater here, back in Airport CEO. Last time we got the beginnings of our northwest wing, I guess, as well as our hangars in here. Um, I went ahead and took out a massive loan, so what we're going to do first is go through and... I'm going to eat this up real quick. I'm going to take out those two. And we're going to go ahead and start off by moving this service road underground. So, there. Then let's go ahead and get our service road. We're just going to do asphalt. Uh, don't actually know how far over it's got to go. I'm kind of waiting on that to be. Uh, Taken out. Go. Nope, that's not where we're going. Go better. There we go. So let's go ahead and get the rest of the service road in. So with any luck, they will start working on that fairly soon. One of the other things I want to do is come in here, maybe four across, although I don't know how far over I'm going. So let's just go to about there. Oh, I meant to go four, not three. There we go. Going back and forth whether or not I want to do the second floor or just stick with the first floor um, because what I want to do is add in a bunch of the aircraft stands for the medium one and get those operational so that we can continue to build up the money. Almost done. Back to the airport infrastructure. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough money to go all the way across. On um, both the width or foundation for the lower level and the second level so thinking about just kind of doing a small strip like that and then going up to the second floor and doing that as well uh, looks like we can go ahead and take this out it's going to wreak havoc on the vehicles for just a minute until they get rerouted those walls those walls So we've got the foundation starting to go in. We are going to need to make it a secure zone because I am going to need to do baggage up here. Yeah, I'm seriously thinking about doing a second floor. I think I should have enough money to do it. Or we'll find out the hard way. Alright, so we've got our tunnel in. Uh, this still has a wall. Yeah, okay. That way we don't have just a bunch of riffraff kind of going into all these unknown parts. Go ahead and we'll let that get built. But that second floor is going to end up being expensive. But I think that might be the best way to go about it, because then I could just expand little by little further out. I 
And then I could slowly expand the, the large runways going across, or the large stands as well. Now one of the things I was thinking of is, again, turning this section into just an international section. But again, that's going to be kind of down the road once we get this entire terminal set up. We can then go in and add in all the international passports and everything that you need. Because you do need an international zone, then both a, a passport checkpoint and an automated one. Um, probably going to stick with just the, the regular passport checkpoint for the time being. Uh, could I have police and an emergency response? I don't actually have those in here. I don't know if it's necessarily something that you have to have. Well, probably obviously it doesn't because I don't have them and things are okay, knock on wood. I mean, I don't think anybody's lit anything on fire in the terminal. Um, it does take a while for these guys to go from all the way down there to all the way up top to start to, to build in. Um, staffing work? I was going to say we're okay staffing wise. It looked like we needed some ramp agents for a second. Uh, baggage is okay. 82 planes en route. We've got a bunch of service vehicles. Um, it looks like we're okay on air, all of them for right now, which is always a good sign. Um, baggage is still just a nightmare right now. I may end up expanding this out, because we might need more of these to handle all the baggage. I think the other half of it is just all the baggage actually getting to the correct place here. Um, I don't recall there ever being a specific panel that tells you what the people actually think. Money, vehicles, variable system, staff system, passenger statistics, passenger rating, passenger at the airport. I'd more like to know what the people actually think, but I don't think that's anything that's actually on here. Uh, the icing system might be something that we also start to look at as well. Now, I might end up having to redo some of the... Yeah? What are you doing? Oh, chatter. Yeah, okay. He's just going up, and I thought he was assaulting that guy for a second. Um, I might end up redoing these, just because employees seem to be having issues accessing it. So I might just have to take these in and down immediately, and then run this conveyor belt underground, so they can just access back here. Um, but that might be something for definitely another day. I might try it on this half first, just to see how well that works. But it looks like they're finishing up. Let's go upstairs. And do I have enough money to start to build this foundation? It looks like yes. It looks like we do have enough money to really start to build out upstairs. Uh, we will take out 
this wall. This wall. And what I think I'm going to do is just open up this wall so that we're still only running everybody out of this one security area. And then people can just go straight up through all the way over here. Now, one thing I haven't used yet is the walkalator, which allows people to really start to uh, move a lot faster. So I'll probably just do a series of these, I think, just to get people up here a little bit faster, and space them out a little bit. Um, just to get them from way down here all the way up here until we get a second uh, security checkpoint up in this area, I think. Um, let's drop it down here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, while we're waiting on that, take a look at baggage. So this is a secure area. Let's flip this around. One and two. Uh, going to need to bulldoze probably that. And back to infrastructure. We'll get a service road in here. So that'll kick through. Worst case scenario, I could just build a wall right there, but we're already building the second floor. We've got plenty of money. Um, last thing we're going to need to do is build the taxiway. That's only 300 piece. Drop that in there. So it looks like they're still building walls. The foundation is in. And they're building the upstairs foundation as well. Now these need to be upgraded. No, I didn't upgrade. I do want the jetway. Jetway's 20,000. I'm just going to do those for right now. Um, I'm just going to do those two. Retrospect. I kind of want to just take all of that. It's not going to let me, is it? There we go. Since I'm only really building tool for right now just to try and get that complete. We can get those two up and going. And then we'll get the road, the service road, so we can get the baggage bays clicking along too. Because I've got a bad feeling money's gonna get real tight real fast. Uh, whatever I can, go ahead and... this up. this one as well. We'll go ahead and connect those two upstairs. We can go ahead and add in boarding desk, go with medium. Was 
One, two, three, and over four. I think it was three. Then there was the boarding desk. Now let's go ahead and make this a secure zone then. That's going to have to be secure all the way across. And... Did I do that already? No? Oh, that's right. I just did a staff zone. Uh, do security there. Security there. If I were smart, I'd just put a wall right here, but I think I'm just going to keep it open just because I don't want to spend the extra money. That's all secure, and that's all secure. I am going to go ahead and take out this staff zone. That's not going to necessarily be a thing anymore. So that's all secure. Now I should be able to get the medium desk in. actually have to go back. There. And this wall goes away, and it's there, and then I got to readjust. Put that in now. Secure zone. There we go, we've got one. Go ahead and get the other one in as well. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. And a boarding desk. Right there. Once those boarding desks are in, we'll be able to almost turn these on and start accepting passengers. Uh, three, four, three, and four, so there it should be there. They haven't finished the uh, the service road here yet. But they are, I guess, working on the rest of this here. But we are we're really coming along in this one. Still sitting on 130k, which is good. Going to need to 
connect all of this up. I may need to upgrade this jetway. Can't yet. Because I'm going to need a conveyor system running along here. Yeah, it's smaller than I was thinking it was going to be. Um, how did I do it on the other one? I think I. Yeah, drop Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this will be the same kind of thing that I do up there. Um, I might add an additional two up top just to see if that helps baggage or not. Um, installing the windows or what? Apparently they're just taking the same route. No, oh, they're still building up the walls. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. I'll let it run so they can finish building everything. And then next time we'll go ahead and we will uh, fix this baggage area right here. And we'll go ahead and hook the baggage into the desks down here. We'll probably run probably run another set of check-in desks up here and then we will do another baggage area for all of these so that'll be next time I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here let them finish building everything out um, but I look forward to you seeing you guys next time in airport CEO and as always I hope you guys have a fantastic day